2018 and I'm so delighted that we're opening with Wes Anderson's uh, Isle of Dogs. It's going to be a great festival and I think we're kicking off in the correct style. I think we have a really fantastic programme. So many people contribute to it that I think it has a kind of breadth and balance and we are promising people the perfect movie mix and I think that's what they're going to get over the next 12 days. There's something for everyone. There are 77 UK premieres, 13 world and European premieres and over 50 uh, Scottish premieres. So there's a lot of films that have not been seen in this country. So there's something for everyone and we've got a huge range of films from 51 different countries. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Same right. here. Words out of my mouth. It's great to be coming back with, with our second film in a row, back to the Glasgow Film Festival. We did it with Grand Budapest four years ago. We're back here now and it's a great place to premiere this in the UK and it's always a great audience because it's a, it's the town of movie lovers and I've, I've heard from everyone here at Glasgow as the most per capita movie going of any other place in, in Europe, I believe. You're Rex. You're King. You're Duke. You're Boss. I'm Chief. We're a pack of scary, indestructible alpha dogs. <laughs> This is Wes Anderson's second uh, stop-motion animated film. We made Fantastic Mr. Fox together almost 10 years ago now. This film is a richer, more complicated, more elaborate world. It's, it's got a more sophisticated feeling. I think Wes really pushed a lot of boundaries, both creatively, artistically, technically, to, to get this thing done. Um, and it really has more puppets and sets and more scale and scope than you pretty much ever see in an animated movie. Spot, if he's alive, may very well be living even at this moment as a captive prisoner. Somebody is up to something. We had a lot of dogs involved in this movie. Both we had the, the crew dogs, a big team of them, uh, that, that, you know, Wolfie and Charlie and, and all sorts of other dogs who were in the office pretty much every day. But we also brought in some dogs to film different actions and run them through their paces for the animators and the people to learn how dogs would actually react in certain situations. Ultimately though, the voices were one of the main inspirations for how these dogs were going to behave because these are, when it really comes down to it, talking dogs, which is not something that most dogs do very well. Wow! 